Armstrong launched the brain uh, and its entire digital platform uh, on one very basic uncontestable principle and that is that thermostatic mixing valves were never designed to be the primary water temperature controller in a continuously pumped recirculating hot water system. Mixing valves are designed to mix hot water with cold water to deliver a third temperature somewhere in between, typically an adjustable temperature. There have been some technology changes over time, but nothing significant. The brain, model DRV80, has completely revolutionized an industry, completely changed the way people think about recirculating hot water systems, completely changed the way people think about plumbing design. One of the neat things about the DRV80 is it does have the capability to control across a broad range of flows. A single valve that can control at zero fixture demand that can also deliver 188 gallons a minute. What happens if I've got a huge hotel? What happens if I need 125 gallons a minute? There's no mixing valve made, no thermostatic mixing valve made that can give me 125 gallons a minute at maximum flow and still control at low flows. Too big. Mixing valve has no idea what's going on. The brain makes all that go away. High flows, low flows, single valve. It's a remarkable product. Who would have thought that we could now integrate with a mixing valve to communicate with the building? This is of great value to building owners and developers and facilities management to be able to proactively now monitor their domestic hot water and proactively know that if there's an issue with that water temperature control that they know before their guests or tenants call down to the front desk to complain. Self-diagnostics. Something's wrong, it reaches out for help. It can be linked to a building management system almost integrally. We're so convinced that our message is right. We're so convinced that thermostatic mixing valves no longer have a place in the mechanical room, that we've actually taken a very bold step. We've taken DRV80, we've sized it down to model DRV40, inch and a half inlets. We've got a product now that is actually now much more commercially suitable for your smaller facilities, nursing homes, three-star hotels, K through 12 education, dormitories, that type of thing. At the same time, in designing DRV40, we looked at some of the things in DRV80 that we'd learned about, things we loved, things we wanted to tweak, things we definitely wanted to change, and we've done that with DRV40. We've taken a, the electronics enclosure can now be separated, aids installation, aids service. We've reduced the complexity of the casting. We've changed the way the motor is situated. We've made the seals much easier to service. The DRV40 now gives you another weapon in your arsenal in the fact that for smaller applications, we've now got a perfect suited valve for smaller capacities. This now gives you more to talk to the consulting engineers about. It also gives you the confidence that Armstrong is continuing to develop this platform to improve. Once DRV40 uh, was complete, we scaled it back up to DRV80, really, really completes our digital platform back in the mechanical room. As a result of that, we have now discontinued all of our thermostatic mixing valves. We are no longer applying them for recirculation system applications. We're taking a product which we adapted to an application the way everybody else does, and we're placing it back where it rightfully belongs. Group fixture control, point of use. If you're in the mechanical room, you've got to go digital.